Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. We're going to go ahead and multiply both of these polynomials here. So the first thing we're going to want to do is to distribute this a to the fourth b squared into the other set of parentheses. Starting with a to the fourth b squared times 3a squared b cubed, which gives us 3a to the sixth b to the fifth. And then let's go ahead and distribute it to this negative a b squared. And that gives us negative a to the fifth b to the fourth. And then let's distribute it to the five as well. All right, now that we've got that, let's go ahead and distribute this negative two a b squared into the other set of parentheses as well. Starting with three a squared b cubed. Then to the negative a b squared. And notice that this becomes a plus two a squared b to the fourth that's because it was a negative 2 times this negative 1. And then we'll multiply it by 5 as well. And then we can start uh, distributing this negative 4s into this set of parentheses. And then to this other term, that middle term, and then to the 5 as well. And there we go. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is find any like terms that we can combine, which means that if it has an A and a B, both the A and the B have to have the same powers respectively. So, for example, this is A to the sixth. There are no other A to the sixth. So we can keep that term just the way that it is. 3A to the sixth, B to the fifth. And then let's go ahead and look at this A to the fifth. Are there any other A to the fifths? Not that I can see. So that is a term all by itself. Now again, it doesn't matter what the b, the power of the b is because there's no other common a to the fifths. Well, what about this a to the fourth? Um, actually, I don't see any other a to the fourths either. So we'll just keep that term the way it is. Uh, additionally, I don't see any other a cubed, so this term will stay the same also. In this next term, we've got an a squared. There is another a squared, but it's b cubed. This one is b to the fourth, so those are not like terms either. All right, now we've got this negative 10a. Here's a 4a and a b squared and a b squared. These two are like terms, so we can combine these two. And then finally, we've got this minus 20. So as it turns out, this is as simplified as we can get this. Usually there would be some terms in between this that we could combine, but in this case, that is as far as we can go.